Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a quick update on my situation with Anwar Mufasa. God damn, I really wish I could use this motherfucker's real name on my channel. By the way, I've been swearing a lot and uh, I know there's new rules on YouTube, but I think that, uh, you know, saying fuck never really hurt anybody unless you're like 12 and then maybe you shouldn't be on the internet. Like maybe we should stop trying to protect the youth of America because there's way worse things than YouTube out there. I mean, there's Pornhub, there's Craigslist. So anyways, okay, Anwar Mufasa. If you guys don't know the story of Anwar Mufasa, well, let me just give you guys a little quick recap of what is going on. I will link all of the videos about Anwar Mufasa in the description box below. And you know, he's been getting a lot of videos dedicated to him lately because he has been a pretty significant part of my life lately. We have been spending a lot of time together. I met Anwar Mufasa about two months ago in West Hartford, Connecticut, and we met at a bar while I was out with my friend Heather, and he was sitting next to Heather, started talking to Heather, and apparently later on I found out that he was just trying to talk to Heather because he wanted to get to me, I guess, because he noticed me at the bar and he was sitting at a table, so he like walked over and like tried to get closer to me and tried to like get in with me. So eventually uh, we did end up talking uh, later on that evening at the bar. I was really, really blackout drunk. Not blackout drunk. I was really drunk though. <laughs> when am I not drunk? You guys seriously might think I have a problem. Maybe I do. We didn't hit it off. I mean, because I don't really remember. Maybe we did. I definitely thought he was cute though. And oh, hello. Hello, police officer. What's up? Oh, fire truck. Maybe it's a fire truck. Are you done? So we stayed until close. We talked the entire night and I guess he really took a liking to me because he asked for my phone number and I was drunk so I gave him my number. Usually I don't give my number out to complete strangers but you know he was cute and I was drunk. Uh, the next morning he texted me asking me how I was feeling. Uh, like even put in text messages like fuck it I'm gonna let you guys see. I'm gonna let you guys see how things unfolded. Like I do not make this shit up. Like this is my actual real fucking life that I'm sharing with you guys. And we ended up meeting out for drinks and appetizers at one of my favorite places in New Haven. Uh, he picked it out without me even saying anything. So I was like, wow, this guy has good taste. Like he likes cool places. So when we were having drinks and appetizers, we were definitely hitting it off. And I felt really, really comfortable around him. And at the end of that date, he walked me back to my car and he gave me a kiss. I was just like, wow, this guy's really, really suave. Like he seemed to be saying and doing all of the right things. Then after that, I really didn't expect to see him because he told me that he lives in New York City but he was just visiting his family for 4th of July weekend that was the reason why he was in Connecticut and at that point in time I was moving to Los Angeles or so I thought but I was just like you know what I'm never gonna see this guy again I'm just gonna let it go and I'm not really gonna try to make an effort here because it's just pointless to get myself attached to somebody and I already kind of felt myself like crushing on him a little bit I was like wow I really like this guy like he's so my type and he's sweet and nice and like puts in an effort which I is hard to come by, trust me. So uh, the next day he texts me and he's like, I really wanna see you again. Uh, would you like to come visit me in the city? So we made plans for the following weekend and I went to visit him in New York and he ended up getting us a hotel room because his niece was staying with him and I talked about that a little bit on my YouTube channel and everybody was like, there is a wife in that apartment, blah, blah, blah. But like, no, I actually got like, proof from him that his niece was actually staying with him in the city while she found her own place. So, you know, it was sketchy at first, but I just decided to trust him and just go with the flow. And there was really nothing sketchy about him. And even to this day, there has not been one thing about him that has been a red flag or has made me think that he's a bad person or that he isn't who he says he is. He's been very, very honest and upfront with me. And I just get such good vibes from this guy. He's just a good person and even if things don't work out with him and myself romantically, I still want to be friends with him because he is just such a fucking great person in my opinion. Like right now, that's what I think. Maybe he'll turn out to be like an evil cult leader. I don't know. So that night we ended up hooking up and uh, then the following weekend he came to Connecticut again and we stayed in a hotel in New Haven and we hooked up again. And then the following week after that, I went to New York City and stayed with him at his place because his niece was like, like already moving out at that point, so she wasn't around. So I got to see his apartment and see how he lives and just everything up until that point with him was really great. So we did spend a lot of time together. We did enter a sexual, semi-exclusive 
relationship. I don't want to say the R word because that scares people. Uh, and then some stuff ended up happening at home. My mom ended up getting sick and some stuff just just fucking stuff happened. Life happened and my move to Los Angeles became kind of a nuisance, but I still needed to move out and spending time with Anwar in New York City really made me fall in love with New York again. I don't know. I just felt like, wow, maybe New York is the place for me. He definitely did open my eyes to living in New York again. As you guys know, I've lived here before and I've tried to move back since then to no avail. But uh, this time I thought maybe, maybe this is the right time for me to move to New York City. We've been spending quite a bit of time together. I would say about like three days a week we've been spending together, which is a lot for me because I'm the type of person where I really like my own space. And with him, I feel like I never want him to leave. Like I just, I, enjoy my time with him so much and he keeps on surprising me with how nice and honest of a person he is and I definitely wish there was more I could show you guys I wish I could show you guys like pictures and you know like put them in a vlog but at the same time I do like keeping that part of my life private because I feel like it's so special to me right now and it's going so well and I don't want to fuck it up and I don't want to put him out there and like have him be vulnerable on the internet because like people are pretty cruel and awful to me on my channel I'm not gonna lie and you know if people were to say some shit about him like I'd probably lose my fucking shit so uh, you know people like to put in their judgments into people's relationships especially if they put them out on YouTube and like obviously because if you're gonna put your relationship out on YouTube then you should accept the fact that you are opening yourself and your partner up to criticism but I don't want to do that that, especially right now because it's just it's still the beginning phase of us being together but yeah I'm just I'm really I'm really feeling this guy and I've, I'm happy like I'm really happy for the first time in forever like this is the first guy I've ever dated who's been like legitimately nice to me like legitimately cares about me and does the right things and says the right things it's like mind-boggling and you know I'm not saying this guy's gonna be like my fucking future husband or whatever but it's just nice to be treated a certain way and I think it it's given me so much hope and even if this guy is just like some dude that I date for a few months and then things don't work out and we move on and just become friends I still think like at this point in time this is exactly what I needed because he has helped me in ways that I cannot even describe <laughs> um okay <laughs> So that's gonna be it for today's video. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated on the whole Anwar situation. If you guys watch my live streams, like I'm constantly fucking giving you guys updates. People who watch my You Now or my Radar TV app, like you guys know everything about what's going on. But I also need to update my pizza sluts here on YouTube as well, so yeah. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much. Give it a thumbs up if you're happy that I'm happy and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the pizza and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye! Woof! <laughs>